Hi everyone and welcome to a video on how to change the colour of an image in Photoshop. To celebrate Spirit Day, we'll be learning how to turn your everyday photographs purple using some simple techniques. We'll also be creating a Photoshop action for this so you can easily turn any photograph purple with just a click of a button. We'll begin by opening your photograph in Adobe Photoshop. Once you've done that, we'll want to head over to the Actions panel in the top right here, like so. And if you can't see it, just go to Window and select Actions or press Alt F9 on the keyboard to bring it up. Excellent. Once you've got the Actions panel up, we'll want to click on the Create a New Action button near the bottom right of the panel here. Once you've clicked on the Create New Action button, you'll be prompted to fill in a few options first. These settings can be useful when creating your new Photoshop action and can help you identify it more quickly. But for now, let's just go ahead and give our action a name. So let's go ahead and call it Spirit Day. and then click on the record button to start recording your action. So when you've clicked on the button, everything that you do in Photoshop will be recorded as part of that action. The small button over here in the action panel will also change to a red dot to let you know that you are recording. Now let's go ahead and change the color of our photograph. In the layers panel here, on the bottom right, let's go ahead and click on this button here called Create a New Fill or Adjustment Layer on the bottom right. And then we want to go ahead and select Gradient Map. This will create a gradient map layer above your photograph layer. You'll also notice that the color of your photograph has already changed according to whatever default gradient it has been set to. Let's go to the Properties panel at the top here and click on the Gradient bar to adjust the colors. In the Gradient Editor, select the first color stop, which is at the bottom here, and we want to set the location to 4%. To change the color of our first color stop, you can either click on the color box at the bottom here or double click on the color stop like so. And then let's go ahead and change this color to 14071B. And this will be our darkest color. So we're going to move from dark to light going along this gradient. So the second color here we're going to create a new color stop by clicking on the bottom of the gradient bar when your cursor turns into a hand, like so. Now let's go ahead and select this second color stop and we want to set the location to something like 48% and we want to change its color. So let's change it to something a little bit lighter. So this color here is going to be 5C277B and then click OK. Then let's create a third color stop and we want to put this location at 60% and let's go ahead and change the color of this one to 8A2E83. Click OK for that. And for our final color stop, let's go ahead and change the location here to something like 98%. And let's change this color to the lightest color, which is going to be B E 8 C B A, like so. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and click OK and then select the gradient map layer here and we want to change the opacity here to something like 80%. Excellent. Now you'll see your photograph has successfully changed its color. 
Now let's add a few more layers to make the color really stand out. Let's go ahead and click on the button at the bottom here, the create new fill or adjustment layer button again. And this time we want to choose vibrance. Select it. And then in the properties panel, let's set the vibrance to 40 and the saturation to five. Click on the same button again. And this time we want to choose photo filter. Select the photo filter layer. And in the properties panel, let's go ahead and where it says filter here, we want to change the warming filter from the drop down box menu to magenta, like so. And then we can play about with the density here. So we can make it something like 20 or bring it down a little bit more, 15%. And then finally, let's create a new layer. So go over to the layers panel and this time select the new layer button. Select the paint bucket tool here and let's go ahead and choose a color and let's choose a color of 5C277B. Click OK and then fill that layer with that color there. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and change the fill here to about 10% and change the blending mode from normal to color. Excellent. Once you've done that, simply go to the actions panel at the top here again, and then click on the stop playing recording button like so. And this will finalize your spirit day action button. Now with the action button completed, it's really easy to change the color of any photograph. Simply open up any one of your photos, go to the spirit day action in the action panel here, and then just simply press the play button like so. Excellent. So this can be used for any one of your photos. Now let's go ahead and learn how we can change the color of specific elements of the photo. So in this case, let's go ahead and try and change the color of the yellow raincoat here. So to do that, let's go ahead and choose the quick selection tool. And we want to zoom in a little bit here into the photograph. And all we have to do is just select parts of the raincoat that we want to change the color of, just simply clicking onto the yellow color. And then once you've done that, just go ahead and press Control C on the keyboard to copy it, and then Control Shift V on the keyboard to paste it in place. Now you can see here as we hide the original photograph, how we've now separated the raincoats from our first photograph here. And this can be useful if we want to change the layer here as well. So to do that, all you have to do is go to image, adjustments, and hue and saturation. Make sure that you've got the second layer selected. And then as we go and change the hue here, you can notice how the color of our raincoat is changing. So keeping with the theme, let's go ahead and change it to a purple color. And you can also play about with the saturation of the raincoat and also the lightness of the raincoat here as well. So if we go ahead and change this to a nice purple color like so. And then once you're done, editing your photograph, click OK. Excellent. And there you have it. How to change the color of your photos in Adobe Photoshop using Photoshop Actions. Have fun creating your own Spirit Day photos, and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.